want you to imagine being on open sea on a ship, not a cruise ship. It's 1739, and you've been at sea for months. And without proper nutrition, you're depleting your vitamin C. That's right, you all have scurvy. A simple yellow lemon could save your life. Would you eat it? Of course, it's a no-brainer. In 1700, a simple yellow lemon could have saved millions of sailors' lives. Do you think they ate it? They didn't, because they didn't know what they didn't know. A modern-day equivalent. Is there something you don't know that you don't know? The new frontier right now is technology, but back then, it was sea exploration. And for those sailors, they did not have the proper nutrition to survive. For us, technology, we don't have the proper nutrition for our body, especially our brains, to survive. That modern day equivalent is what I call brain scurvy. That's right, you heard it, brain scurvy. What's our yellow lemon? What's the brain hack to get our life back? We are connected to screens almost 11 hours a day. That is more than what we sleep. With one single device, you can talk on the phone, send a text message, read an email, swipe left for a date, crush candy, <laughs> check the weather and pay your bills, and switch between any of these tasks in an instant. Technology makes this easy. Technology makes this accessible. The problem is our brain has not evolved to do this well. Our brain was not wired to rapidly switch from task to task. Yet we do it, and we think we're good at it. You know what our brain was actually wired to do? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I need to do, uh, think of a task. Oh, I need to get my teeth clean. Do the task, call the dental office. Finish the task, I got my appointment set for next week. Finish, move on, simple. What's happening today? Pick up your phone. Oh, what's these notification? Oh, click on this link. Oh, have you seen the videos of the cats riding the goat with the top hat? Two hours later, still have not called the dental office. Focus, I can do this. Pick up the phone. Oh, I should check my work emails. Down the rabbit hole we go. Three days later, still have not called the dental office. We've all been there. That is the pitfall of multitasking. Every time you switch from task to task, there's a cost. That cost is time, that cost is energy. Studies show that cost kills 40% of your productivity. It's stressful, it's exhausting. It's depleting your brain of the fuel it needs to be efficient, happy, productive. That deficiency is what I call brain scurvy. Could you have it? Let's play a fun game. See how much your brain actually loves to multitask. On the screen, there's two shapes, a square and a circle. I will show you a series of slides. If you see a circle, I want you guys to lift up your left hand. If you see a square, you're right. Let's do it together. Circle, left. Oh, you guys are good. Square, right. One more time. Circle, left. Square, right. OK, it's going to go pretty fast, so brace yourself. Let's play. Okay, you guys are pretty good. You guys nailed it. So now I don't want to concentrate on the shape, so I'm going to raise the stakes. I want you to concentrate on the color. So you see yellow, lift up the left hand. Blue, right. Together, yellow, left. Blue, right. Same rule, same game. Let's play. A little bit more hesitation, but you guys are still doing great. Here's the bad news, that was just the warm up. <laughs> now we're actually going to multitask. There's this, the word that's gonna pop up on the screen. It's either gonna say shape or color. If it says shape, 
The next slide, you concentrate on the shape. So if it's a circle, left hand, square, right. If it says color, the next slide, you concentrate on the color. If it's yellow left, <laughs> blue right. You guys, you guys are going to be OK. Take a deep breath. Think about it. It's, it's the same two games, just put together. Let's play. <laughs> wow, that went downhill quite fast. So who was confused? Overwhelmed? Maybe a little stress? The reality is we do this type of thing to our brain every single day, and we don't even notice. And this was a relatively simple task, switching from color to shape. My four-year-old can do this. <laughs> Imagine this keyboard guy, this fire guy. How do you think his quality is at the end of the day? His energy level. Don't worry, I'm not here to, uh, to give you a lecture on multitasking. Okay? It's the reality we live in, and I am absolutely guilty of this. I do it all the time. <laughs> but I did not know how much it stressed my brain to the breaking point. And I have a PhD in neuroscience. I study human performance for a living, and I did not know that spending my days surviving and not living or feeling like I am never enough shouldn't feel normal. I'm a working mother of two active toddlers, with one who's still in diaper, a business owner and a scientist, and I'm juggling you know, work life, family life, and try not to drop any ball. I feel most of the time like I'm drowning. And this is depleting my brain of the fuel it needs to be happy, productive, efficient. I need a brain hack to get my life back. And I know I am not the only one who feels this way. Have you ever wondered why you experience lack of attention or focus, or like we like to call it our mid-afternoon crash, or having no energy to be motivated? Even though you want to, you really try, you just can't. Tired of being tired? Those are signs that your brain is running out of fuel. Here's the good news. What if I told you there's a way to make your brain more efficient and happy with something as simple as a yellow lemon, a brain hack to get your life back. Scurvy, lack vitamin C. We know this, that's why we don't have scurvy. What's our brain lacking? What are we not feeding our brain? I believe it has a lot to do with the amino acid tyrosine. And for those of you who might not know, amino acids are the building blocks of protein in your body. So think of a protein as a Lego house, the one your kids play with, or for me, my husband, his Death Star in the basement. <laughs> All the little Lego pieces to build that house, or his Death Star, are amino acids. And tyrosine is a very important amino acid, and this is why. Two years ago, I was studying performance in half marathoners. We wanted to know what changed in their blood which amino acid changed in their blood while they were running, and if we could use that information to make runners better runners, you know, fire up that performance. So we were looking for amino acids important in muscle building or help muscle recover and give muscle energy. What we found instead is changes in the amino acid important for the brain. So the Lego blocks for mood, cognition, learning, and memory. And one of those amino acids? Tyrosine. Tyrosine makes the neurotransmitter important for motivation, focus, and happiness. Think of a neurotransmitter as the key to open up your happy door in your brain. Tyrosine makes that key. It's the Lego block to make the key to open up the door. So what happens when you run out of the building blocks to the key to the door? One great study was done almost 30 years ago, and it's a great example. They simulated putting U.S. military soldiers on a cold mountain in high altitude, then asked them to perform. How do you think they did? Well, for their simple math, they didn't do great. And they did a lot worse than if they were on a beach on a hot summer day. You're probably thinking, yeah, that makes sense. Plus, they weren't happy. Again, makes sense. But why? 
biologically, why? The theory was the stress of being cold on a mountain was depleting the neurotransmitter made by tyrosine. They were running out of the Lego blocks to make the key to open up their performance door. What if they made sure that they had enough Lego blocks? So they fed these soldiers tyrosine, and they perform a lot better, and they were a lot happier, like they were on a beach on a hot summer day. They were replenishing the amino acids they were running out. So what does a half marathoner and a cold soldier on a mountain have to do with you? First, it's the start of a great joke, but <laughs> stress. I know, the S word, the dirty S word. It could be physical, running a half marathon, environmental, cold on a mountain, but it doesn't need to be that extreme. It could be as simple as lack of sleep or that constant state of multitasking we keep doing every single day. Could, it be, could be depleting the amino acids you need and your brain needs to be efficient, happy, productive. Okay, well, if we replenish these amino acids, could that be the brain hack to get your life back? Best way to find out is to try it, test it. So based on the results from our half marathon study, we made a blend of concentrated pure form of amino acids that contained tyrosine. And then we fed it to people who live a crazy busy life and then asked them to perform a test that was stressful for the brain. Do you know what kind of test that was? Remember that circle, square, yellow, blue test? Yeah? Well, that one. What's great about these tests is you can actually measure the time your brain wastes switching from task to task. And what we found is with the right amino acid blend, you can actually double your speed. You can be twice as fast switching from task to task. These results suggest this can help your brain adapt to fast changes in your environment, like distractions, multitasking. What this means for you is the right amino acid can make your brain more efficient to deal with your crazy busy life and still have the energy at the end of the day to be happy, to be motivated, to be productive. Although this is preliminary, it has grabbed the attention of a multi-billion dollar e-commerce company. They're using these findings to help their employees with their mood, with their productivity, with their health. So what's the brain hack to get your life back? If you live a crazy busy life, you need to replenish those amino acids. Okay, beside that powder concentrated form, where do you get these amino acids? In the food that you eat, and more specifically, in high quality protein, rich in amino acids like tyrosine. That is turkey, chicken, fish, eggs, protein powder, pumpkin seed, uh, sesame seeds, chickpeas, lentils, lima beans. Here's how you implement the hack. Your body can only absorb, give or take, 25 grams of protein in one sitting. That means that's either three eggs, a scoop of protein powder, or a portion of turkey the size of your palm. You need to space out your protein intake throughout the day, every couple hours, at least four times a day. High quality protein is the modern equivalent to lemon to scurvy. Until our brain has time to evolve and catch up to deal and survive in this crazy busy world, we need that brain hack to get our life back. For those sailors in the 1700s, preventing vitamin C deficiency was about preventing death. Today, preventing amino acid deficiency, like tyrosine, is to ignite the brain, not only to survive, but to thrive in this amazing world. You didn't know what you didn't know. And now you know. <laughs>